All right then. Well, I will be abandoning you forever. And ooh, wait a minute. Do you sell things? Was I not paying attention? You don't show up as a uh, salesman on the map, but I imagine that will be your job once you eventually become, you know, borderline useful. Do I really have to run around the fucking? Just let me fast travel from my house. Why do you have to make everything so damn hard? Uh, I mean, I'm not gonna bother exploring this place until it is at its maximum level of explorability. Because if I just have to do it every single time, just going a couple inches further, that might actually drive me insane. So we're gonna get all the staff back, and it's looking like I don't even have to pay any money. It seems like we get an upgrade for every member of staff that we just drag fucking screaming back to my house. So, uh, let's make our way over to Odi. Shall we? Or Odai? I, I don't know what it's supposed to be. Odai's camp. Odai just- it, it doesn't sound right. I mean, Odi sounds shit, but Odai sounds wrong. It doesn't seem like that would say Odai. If you need anything, just say the word. Command would want me to do all I can for you. Move into my house forever and be my slave. Is that- is that the kind of orders you were expecting, my friend? I highly doubted. House Ancilla. I was handpicked by Lord Ancilla himself. He saw something in me before even I did. I spent my childhood with his family, apprenticing under an old healer named Glynis. Ah, when the that's convenient. When the attacked, I was able to slip out in the confusion. But I'll never forgive myself for leaving the others behind. I honor them by fighting back. Yeah, yeah, you could do that. You could be a war hero and actually do useful things. Or you could keep me warm at night. What would you prefer? And I'm not giving you a choice. I need you at Sea Watch. Sea Watch? Are you trying to rebuild that old ruin? If you're serious about this, then I would leap at the chance to be involved. Which is why it sounded like but you were I fucking laughing at me at first. Post, not with my men depending on me. If you can find a replacement for me, then perhaps I can come with you. Perhaps. Oh, you drive me insane! There is a young Alpha by the name of Private Cornell. I met him. He was insane. Here. I have watched him for some time, and he would make a fine officer. If it, oh God! And now we're inviting a stalker Farewell. to come and live into our house forever. Okay, this is a horrible idea, but I guess we got no choice. Now, which camp would that be? Is it one I can fast travel to? No, because that would actually be easy. That would actually be bearable, and the game would hate me to actually have any fun. No, I'm kidding. I love this game. So let's make our way over here. No. No, and I really hope I never, ever have to, whoever you are. That is, the th that is like the second time in the last hour that you have asked me that question. Is that, that, is that all this fucking swamp smells like? Is I don't want to live here. I don't want this to be where I build my- probably what's gonna end up being my last house. We build a house in Alabastra, which to be honest, we are asking to die at that point. So, yeah, let's not. Why- why are the camera angles just screaming? What- what is going on? And why aren't you all chasing me? I wanted to kill you all at once. It was gonna be the best fucking thing I've ever done in my entire life. I was gonna hit you all with the meteorite. But no, oh, yeah. literally none of you want to fight anymore. Apparently a literal legion of Bolgan shit themselves at the sight of three alpha. But not me? The man who has probably got- how many kills have I got actually? Status, stats, 4,000. I have ended the existence of 4,000 boys since we began this game. And even 36 chickens. I, I, I'm a horrible person. Alright, talk to me. There are a lot of Bolgan about. I thought we'd taken care of most of them, but they just keep coming. Oh, this guy? This guy. This guy. This guy. This is gonna be the guy who leads our entire army, I was about to say to victory, absolutely to their fucking doom. Why are you doing this, Odie? Also, why was Odie a leader in the first place when he's just a sergeant, but putting a private in charge? This is only gonna piss off the rest of your fucking dudes, isn't it? This is- this is the dumbest idea we've ever had, but whatever. I need him at my house. And you are talking to me? The sergeant is a legend. Not just anyone can fill those boots, friend. Yeah, he thinks you're pretty or something. Go do it. You're the right man. I have fought in a number of campaigns, and without me, the unit would have surely been killed in Cursewood. Fine. 
If it is the wish of Sergeant Odai, then I will relieve him of command. I appreciate your vote of confidence. Sometimes one opinion can make all the difference. I hate your voice acting so much. Oh. It, it's not the voice actor's fault. The voice actor's got to find a voice. It's just, why do you sound like you're presenting a kid's show? That is, that genuinely, so many dudes in this game have that issue. Oh, prove to me just how terrible you are then. Let me, let me see just how much of an idiot I am for putting you in charge. Or I guess I could just do your job for you because I don't have the time or the fucking energy to watch you just hammer away on those dudes while they ex Oh, I don't really get a choice. Okay. Is this him? Or did he just run away? He went to sleep. He, he's literally sleeping while both of his buddies get shanked in the head. The, the fucking Mergen stomped on him and he still just tries to stay asleep. Are you hiding from them? I, I, I do not feel good about my decision here. This decision has absolutely ruined the lives of the entire Alpha army, but whatever. It's probably maybe a good deed down the line because I need a medic. That I will never, ever, ever use, and I guarantee it. So you have spoken to Cornall? Then it's done. Good. Been a long Cornall time since we contracted an STD, actually. One of the few who knows how to hold on to honor when everything comes apart. So your anti gonorrhea spells will go unfulfilled, my love. Relief will be here soon. And with it, a fresh group of officers from Melsenshire. Come. It is time to head to Sea Watch. Oh. Okay, so they're now being led by an absolute moron who is so very far up his own ass that apparently he's just lost all fucking coherent thought and can't even hear when all his men are being slaughtered in the background. But, I mean, at least there's gonna be more of them? I guess they stand a tiny little fucking chance? I don't know, let's just get out of here before I completely regret everything. How far are me? They were desperate enough to need an old wasted healer like me. Dude, they called I've you a been legend. In about seven years they now. love you. Saw action in Fire Trench and during the long siege. We're supposed to be marching into the Kalid coast after Captains Trav and Canwen. <laughs> but reinforcements have yet ah, to yes. arrive. Travis the elf. I, I, I hate that. Farewell. All right, let's head back home because renovating my shitty little castle is absolutely way more important than the survival the, 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 and the survival of the House of Sorrows, and you know what? The survival of the world as well in the main quest. But whatever. Ooh. I mean, I'm already smashing all your hard, 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 hard work, but you have done an amazing job, dude. But I thought you were pathetic. I thought you were going to be a little bitch man for the entire time I know you, but... I mean, we've already given Odie his own quarters. Are there more stuff I can steal away from actually decent things? Aster Kolyan. Let me be the first I don't recognize that name, so... I am to see area probably could end up having to go to Alabastra for this one. Fine, Alpha. There are few finer. Of course, I don't do bad work either, if I may say so. Did you see the improvements? Progress is being made all over the castle. Ness is going to tell me to recruit Gadflow to run the local far. corner store. Normally, I would not encourage his return, but we need a merchant. He is called Astor Corey, <laughs> and he is dreadful. Why not just hire any other merchant? Spoils at Melsenshire, the scruffy little scavenger. What about the bard man? The bard man was adorable. He doesn't want to accept his, like, noble background or whatever the hell, so let's just bring him here. He was, like, the only guy who ever decided to call us a friend, and it was the sweetest thing. And now I'm never, ever, ever gonna see him again. Uh, where is this arsehole? The little carrion bird is likely hovering hmm. over a pile of bodies somewhere. Ah, that's nice. The last I heard, he was picking through what was left of Mel Sanchez. So let's go absolutely make him shit himself, shall we? My absolutely terrifying emo armor. But first, I've got a call coming in that I really need to say because I'm an important business boy. And I'll see you guys real soon before it rings off. Ah! And we're back in Melsenshire. Kind of expected everyone to be fucking screaming with the glory and everything still after we, you know, saved their asses so very much. I mean, there were celebrations going on and they lasted a day. You've been in siege for 10 years. I know all your fucking family's dead, but at least, come on, at least praise me. At least kiss my fucking feet for another five minutes, at least. Oh, he's a gnome. I didn't expect a gnome. I guess it's always going to be a gnome with an, with an Italian name like that. For some reason, gnomes are either French or Italian in this game, ever since Odessa. 
and I don't know what the hell's going on. Because, I mean, we've had Fomorous Shoes, which sounds like a very, very, very gnomish name. And then we have, like, Pierre, and shit like that, and Colliani, and Ventrinio, and it's like, uh, what? It doesn't sound very gnomish. Hey there. Bad scene, isn't it? Real bloody. A massacre out there. Call me Astor. Astor Colliane. General merchant by trade. Not that there's much business going on around Melson Shear. This place is a morgue. Did you try and, like, change your name for sneaky reasons? And then decide to only change the last letter of your name? Th that's not smart, my friend. Th that is not sneak. Everyone knows who you are, or is that just a stupid typo? In which case, Colian, that sounds even more French to me. So I guess there's only one Italian gnome in the entire world, and that's Ventrinio. Ah, uh, Sea Watch. As good a place as any to run your business. It's got a roof against weather, four walls to keep out the trouble, and the sheets, well, they're softer than most. As I really hate the way you said that. Back when his people were in a bidding war against Castir. I got him everything he needed, fast, cheap, and without anyone ever knowing about it. So a noble was just blatantly hiring the world's smallest criminal? And, and, and no one gave a shit? Well, I guess that's the whole point of without anyone ever knowing about it, but damn, you don't exactly look discreet. For some reason, even though they're absolutely fucking miniature and adorable, gnomes seem like the least stealthy race in the entire game. I don't know why. I guess with all that mass held in such a tiny little body, you'd assume they're kind of clunky, but this guy... Oh no, not this guy. Private Edster. Worst soldier I've ever seen. She's in it for the loot. Then again, so am I. Takes one to know one, I guess. Hmm. Who? <laughs> Who the fuck is Edstar? Imagine that has something to do with the fucking goose chase you're about to send me on her. Oh, I hate you. I hate you already. Astor Kolian. Private merchant and enterprising individual, that's me. Astor Kalyan. Competitive prices on competitive merchandise. Wait. And why do you sound you like a rapey Yoda? What was that voice? Did you? Not a chance. Oh. Well, I hate everything about that. I I'm literally about to own you and everything you're ever about to do. So, uh, maybe we should get to know each other. Or I'll probably just throw you in a cage except for when I need you. I'm such a good noble. How Sancilia? Good alpha are the Ancillas. A stock worth investing in, if you're asking me as a businessman, that is. I liked the old lord, and his offspring weren't so bad either. And what do you think of me? Because apparently I'm perfectly willing to use a criminal suddenly, so why not? Is this a jest? Sea watch, that old ruin? Ha! You'd sooner find me picking loot off the dead. Exactly. Actually, now that I think of it, that's not a bad idea. Don't you already do that? Let me your offer. At Sea Watch, I'd have private access to the sea and a protected perch. Fine. I will do it. But first, you must get something for me. Private Edstar possesses a prize that I desire. A dagger belonging to one of the two Arthur generals who fell in battle. Uh, would fetch a fine price. I have like Bring 50 of me. those things. You can find Freedy in the <laughs> town really or around to town. Worst soldier I've ever seen. She's in it for the loot. Then again, so am I. Yes, that is exactly what we just heard five seconds ago. So around Later, town then. or in the tavern, huh? And where exactly does she go at 5.42 a.m.? If she's still in the tavern, I will feel so bad, because we're clearly just dealing with a broken woman. But no, but no, she's in here. Is she at least doing the big sleep? Does this tavern actually have beds? No, because we're in Mel Senshir, where everyone is a disaster. And we just use our own fucking mugs as... What are they called? Beds. I forgot the word bed. That's a good sign. That's a good sign about my mental state. Hello, Freddy. Yeah, what is it? Wait. I know you. Oh, it's you! I remember you. You're Warswa. Kill any Niskaru lords lately? Yes, actually. A whole I'm two. I'm buy you a drink now, aren't I? No, I just want to steal all of your property. Is that okay? Sure did. I've refused four offers for it, broken the nose of a guy who tried to steal it, and turned down one proposal of marriage. What if I do all three at once? Mine. The Tuatha will come for two hundred. 
150 gold. No, I think I'm gonna get. I, I, I'm gonna lose my nostrils if I do that. So better use our silvery tongue. I'm a very shiny boy. You're trying Fuck to scare you. me now. That's the worst tactic yet. You'd be better off trying to pickpocket the dagger off me. Oh, okay, thanks for the suggestion. Tell me about the dagger. It belonged to a Tuatha priest, and it's extremely rare. Or so I've gathered from all the attention. I'm not paying you. 250, so that's nothing. The city is full of wealthy lords and ladies. Fine, I'll take your gold, but only because it's much more than I think this trinket is really worth. Didn't you just say it's from a Tuatha general? It is from a Tuatha general. I have sold two other decks. I've even sold the basest form of two other general. Let me try that again. Because <laughs> I accidentally just said two other genitals. I don't know where that came from, but they are definitely not for sale. Not where I come from. Oh, they are very prized possessions. But yes, um, I've sold even like the basest form, the lowest tier of two other weapons for like at least 10 grand, especially at this point in the game. I can't believe you let me buy that. I thought I was going to get slapped. Ah, very good. Very good indeed. If you weren't so busy slaying Niskaru lords, you would probably make an adequate thief. I bought I'd it. Say stick to the slaying, though. That's not thieves are meant to do the I'll opposite of buying, my you. friends, but which would be selling, Elgar so not to that. But nerves, still, I'm gone. That one is a wart on a Bolgan's ass. Yeah, I kind of hate him, but I'm absolutely Later in love with him then. at the same time. And I mean, if he can move all that the rubble within melt. three minutes, he's clearly the most powerful mage we have ever seen. And maybe, just maybe, just maybe, just maybe, you don't want to piss him off, you tiny little scumbag. So, I believe that was the final member of staff. So do I now just throw a load of money at you? Because I'm much more down to do that than to be fair, I really enjoyed all these quests. It was adorable. What a look at this! I love how much better it looks with every single time I visit it. This is in not Mel's and shit, this is in Chloricon, man. And we have a building that looks this gorgeous. Look at all these red carpets and everything that just kind of repeat the entire time. But still, it looks stunning. My liege, it is done. The last of the staff has returned. And Sea Watch has been reborn. You mean this entire Might noble family only ever employed four time, people? To many of noble birth and honorable disposition, but none compares to you. None at all. You've known me for the less than an hour. To rule as you see fit, my liege. And as always, your humble staff is at your service. You better have so many things for me to talk about. Oh well. no. Oh, what is the point in your existence? I love the house and everything. It's absolutely beautiful. But I feel like it's the one I'm going to use the least by far. Maybe I'll come here to wrap up the series or something? Because it fe it'll feel like a little bit, uh... Excuse me. It'll feel poetic and everything. Maybe I'll visit all the houses. Who knows? And I'll just end it in this lovely little Hello. garden that I'm going to ruin all of your hard work within my first fucking visit. Okay, good. Um... But yeah, maybe I'll visit all the places that we've been to. Like, I'll go to Rathir, I'll go to Issa, I'll go to all my houses, I'll go to Odessa, my house in Odessa, etc, etc, etc. And we'll just sort of hang out in there for a while. But it's not going to be the one I go to just to, like, jam some shit in my storage. It's not like you can decorate your house. It's not like there's any real benefit to that. I mean, you can pay to make them prettier. But I've already done that. Already, that's done. I, I only really need, need to look at it once before I've seen fucking everything. And it doesn't even seem like a house where I can even run around and steal a load of shit from even now, and I've only just got here! Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Oh well, oh well, oh well, let's hang out with this guy. Wait, you're not a guy. You're a table, you're a fucking bench. Where are my guys? Is there really nothing out here? This sucks. On the other side is gonna be my blacksmithing bench. You're not a blacksmithing bench, you are a sagecraft altar. Which means, what are you? I thought you were a sage- Oh, it's an alchemy lab, okay. I still don't understand the symbols this deep into the game because I just haven't bothered to use half the game's systems and I'm still this fucking powerful. I guess that's because I don't use weapons. I pretty much rely on uh, pure magic and everything. So it sort of makes blacksmithing and shit like that obsolete except for armor. Uh, and I guess making weapons that give you a boost to damage and shit like that, which I've already done. So I never need to do it again. Yay, I guess. Uh, so we're done with you. We're done with that box. This is... Oh, wow. What an exciting little castle. I'm so glad we did this. Like, don't get me wrong. It is beautiful. 
and I was really, really excited upon stepping foot in it when it was... Now that all of its um upgrades have been completed and everything, yes. but it's just... There's nothing going on. I can't do anything with it. It's just a cool-looking house, and that is all it will ever be. At least there's a shrine of Lyria in it that I can go to every single time. I'm gonna surprise that we haven't had a... A house that is just full of altars. Like, you remember the, um... Place in Issa? There's had a shrine to every single god in the entire game. I love that place. I want more places like that. I want one in my house now. But no, the game doesn't love me nearly enough to ever give me anything close to that. So we just get one. At least it's one of the cooler ones. At least it gives me, I believe, mana regeneration and just mana in general. Maybe even more damage with magic. I don't know. But at least it's Lyria. Hello, Odie. It's nice to see my old friends again. Connie hasn't changed. And Astor is the same troublemaker he always was. Only more trouble. Do you know how many corpses he's had to deal with since you last Why? fucking saw him? I, I can't exactly blame him, but it seems like even you guys have nothing to say. It's not like, oh, did they say one line about how cool it is to be back and everything? But I mean, you abandoned your entire life to come back to this. Surely this matters to you. Tell me how much it matters to you. I mean, I guess they showed how much it matters by the fact they are willing to leave behind their lives and potentially put in danger the entire Alpha army and the world in general, which was a little bit stupid. But... This doesn't feel nearly as big as it should. This should have been like a real homecoming Damn. moment, like absolutely fucking awesome. Look how far we've come and everything. And yeah, I own a big castle, but that castle offers nothing and I'm never coming back here again. I'm at your command. Just don't ask me to do anything I don't feel like doing. At least I heard that line, because that's one of my favorite lines in anything ever. <laughs> it's such boomer humor, but I'm sort of in love with it. Let's actually check out your shop, though. Maybe that'll at least be worth a uh, little check. I do need a fuckload more lockpicks, so I guess I'll get you. You sell gems, which is a thing, I guess. I could sell a few things to you if I can be bothered. Yeah, goodbye, Titan Shield. Uh, Robe of the Divine Grasp. Your shit. I mean, it's really nice in terms of um, armor and everything. In fact, I'm a bit in love with it in terms of armor. But, oh my god, it's so much. I can't sell it. I'll hold on to it because it is kind of fucking fascinating. But it's probably something I will never, ever, 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 ever use. And I, I can't even be bothered to sell things right now. We'll get rid of, like, the pathetic things that I know are absolutely terrible. And so then long. we will be on our way. And we have, like, one more thing to look at. And that's my own personal quarters. Which I guarantee is gonna look like every other fucking room in this place except with a bed in it. Because that's how creative they bothered to get with the most awesome fucking home in the game. I'm so pissed. Alright, where are you? Well, at least it's up. If it actually sort of curls around and puts me in a tower, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be pretty damn satisfied with that. Oh, you know what? This looks really cool. We even double up on the gun and everything. It's not just our own personal quarters. Actually, it, it is. I'm allowed to sleep in any of these. And wait, 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 wait. That was peasants' clothes. So unless you fuckers are trying to make a point, you asshole staff whose lives I just saved, then this is for them. And you just sleep right next to me? That, that's a little bit weird, don't you think? I'm not your dad. I am your owner. I am the basically... I, I have hired you all as slaves. I don't think hire is the right word when it comes to slavery, but you know, there's nothing of use in there unless maybe there is and I'm a complete idiot. Uh, it was just the peasant clothes I think I was looking at in there. Unless I just came from it. I don't know. I'm so blind. I'm so confused by everything. Maybe it was here that I checked out last time. And again, I feel like I probably would have found this chest if that's the case. I don't think I'm quite that stupid. Or am I? Who knows? What do we got in here? No, I definitely haven't been in here. Huh. I'm not completely brain dead. Amazing. Alright, well this is our room, which is no cooler than the peasants' rooms. Except I- oh, this is my storage. Unless I get a carpet, I guess. They get a- that room is cooler than mine! In fact, it's ex the exact same as mine, except you split it up into two single beds instead of one massive double. So what, the peasants can't have sex? Is, is that the only bonus that I get? Like, my bed is big enough for wanging? And I guess I get a mirror in my room. 
Uh, okay. Wow. What? 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 What an absolute! Uh, I'm so glad I I I, I moved in here. <laughs> Yay! This is the biggest letdown of the entire game. And I, I love this game, don't get me wrong. This doesn't change the fact. It's not like it's knocked off points. I, I still love this game, but it's just like, ah, oh, God. Imagine what this could have been if they, well, I was about to say, if they had the budget to make what they really, really wanted. I think this is still one of the most expensive games in history. They just didn't quite have the experience, I guess. And I guess there were time constraints or something like that. Because I believe the state of, it might be New England? Or Rhode Island or something like that? But yeah, whatever state that the devs were hanging out in uh, when they were making this game, or wherever they're based in, I believe they were given a massive government grant or whatever. And, or maybe it was a loan. And the government were just like, yeah, we need our money back, like, right fucking now. Just release the game. Right. Do it now, you have to. You hear that? Or whatever the fuck. And uh, that's why the game came out a little bit rushed, despite many, many years in, in development. I think it was, like, quite sudden or something. I knew the whole story ages ago. I don't know it anymore because I'm a fucking idiot, but it's something like that. Horrible. He killed them all and nothing could stop him. Your name is Mim Sid. Your name is Mim Sid and you are the only survivor. People with half decent names died in there. Why couldn't you have sacrificed yourself? Excuse me. Who did? Who, who did? How do people speak again? Who did? It was Dren. That freak who guards the House of Pride. He told us to leave, but we thought we could beat him. Well, maybe you should try not being completely thing. stupid. And not even a two off. You ever thought about that? Nothing hurt him, and he slaughtered us all. The worst thing was, he seemed sorry to kill us. It's not like he wants to work with the two off there. He's just... Wait, how is that the worst thing? Can't he take some solace in that? Or are you like, oh no, he's probably enslaved too? Maybe he's under the corruption of... Lir not Lyrium, that's Dragonite. Well, for fuck's sake, Prismere, there we go. What exactly happened? We'd heard the legends of Dren the Bloody, unbeatable defender of the House of Pride. But you know how Fey are with their stories. We're yes, completely accurate every him, time, because they relive it every five minutes. For the army. We were going to be heroes, you know? No, you then weren't. Dren you should have waited for me. We die. And God help us. We didn't turn around. This is all your fault. I, I don't feel sorry for you at all. Just get out of my sight. Like, who told you to do this? No one ordered you. Maybe you're mercs. Maybe you're just a random roaming band of morons. Uh, because, I, I mean, you're dressed like the Alpha Army. Surely no one ordered you to do this. Unless you're a general or you had a general that was just completely stupid. Don't worry. I have a plan. That's what we thought, too. But if anyone can do it... It'd be you. I'm surprised you're not like trying to convince me to never, ever, ever. Oh, go away, Agarth! I'm trying to listen to the stone. Arrived. Stay back. I have a plan. Or oh, what do we do now? I don't think I do have a plan. I want to get Agarth's take. I was hoping you'd find the answer to that question along with Ventrinio. Oh, you mean you oh, didn't get any of now. it? Maybe he'll tell us. Okay, I probably should have just said now the plan. Now I look like a complete fucking idiot. Is everyone running me down? Is Ventrilio also charging me to death? Of course he is. Can I just listen to the stone, please? I don't want to have to run away from all my friends. You haven't tried going in there, have you? No, of course you haven't. You're still alive. Unfortunately. This took a little longer to find than I had hoped, but it should be exactly what you need. Tell us what it is. Or people died due to your delight. No, shut up. Tell me what it is. They died because of their own stupidity. Dren had a twin in the summer court. Dith, the defender of valor. Dith. They were both entirely immune to each other's power. <laughs> Dith. She faded when the house of valor fell. But my early experiments with the well of souls provided a quite useful little surprise. You see, when trying oh, to no draw way. life energy from the ether, I captured her essence and bound it into this chest. I swear to God, if it just makes me invincible, that will suck. Oh, come on, I wanted to summon her. How is this even useful? It's not as powerful as it used to be, and it's specific to Dren. But it'll let you face him and live. Do I have to kill him? Or does it now make him immune to me because I'm wearing the charm? You stole her soul. You're a monster. I mean, he, had, he never really said that he stole her soul. He just took part of her essence. 
Maybe her essence isn't in the soul, but it's in the people? It's in the flesh? Because, I mean, he can raise sons of Lazes without stealing the soul, right? Like, that's the entire point. That's why they don't have sentience, because they are not true boys. So if he can just take part of her flesh or whatever the fuck and use that as the essence... Oh, please tell me I'm not working with the Antichrist. Now, be fair. They don't have souls as mortals do. They are a form of magic with a physical form. They still have feelings. I only got a little of it. Anyway. Where did you even get Just that from? No one's ever told me that before. To Dren's power, it only works for one person, but it'll be enough for you to reach him. Trouble is, he'll be immune to your power as well. But I'm sure you can think of something. I mean, I can walk past him. Because with every time he tries to pound me, I can just walk right past, can't I? Like, I'm gonna have to do everything alone, and probably die to everybody in the house, but- Or I could use my summon. I guess he won't be immune to my summon. Go show that defender what a little magic can- I don't know what you're- Ugh, even the important gnomes can ex exorcist on me. I mean, I've seen it happen to other races as well, but it seems like every single gnome in the entire game is just pretty much an owl. But even worse than an owl, because the heads go upside down in the most horrible ways ever. They just don't have spines. Ah. Uh, or their spines are just made of fucking- what's- that? you know what? I've got nothing for that. I don't know what could possibly make such an abomination occur. Ah. Uh, glitches. Gl glitches could probably do it. Kaled Coast. You feel the glare of a silver raptor. A furrowed brow. Eyes that pierce the veil. We see the scowling engraved face of a beautiful, elegant terminus. We know this mask of death, this azure visage, this celestial teardrop, as the helm of the Fae Hunter. Who is he? Why are we constantly told about this dude who just doesn't seem to have any presence whatsoever on the world? <sighs> Uh, hopefully we will be able to find his armor, or his tomb, or even him. I mean, we don't know that he's dead. We gotta assume that he's mortal, and this happened, like, many, many millennia ago, but... Unless he's a fae that's hunting fae, which wouldn't surprise me too much. I mean, uh, we know that they can divert, or divulge, or whatever the fuck. Is that the right word? No, it isn't. But they can, um... Yeah, they can be divergent, right? They can be divergent from their own stories, the telling, or whatever the fuck. So you gotta assume that some of them can diverge enough to just straight up become murderers. Murderers of their own kind. Whether or not that the, uh, the war is foretold or whatever. Um, well, I guess they can't really go against fate, but maybe their fate is to just be a complete piece of shit? Who knows? Uh, let's go ahead and talk to Aelin. Whatever you're planning, now is the time. Do you guys not have any single fucking thing to say? Well, let's ask about advice. Oh, I'm sure you have this well in hand. Good luck. Got hiccups. I don't know why this game gives me hiccups. I never, ever, ever get hiccups unless I'm recording this game. It's not like I'm trying to swallow you. How does this keep happening? Sidon. The essence of Valor's Defender. The gnome's depravity knows no depths. It's almost... 